Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the world of the bangs. Anyway, um, welcome. Today I'm doing a tutorial. I have not filmed in over a month. I just started editing again. I'm loving the way this look turned out. It is so dramatic, like, drama these lashes this lash was being a little bitch earlier i bitch about it later but it'll be a little bitch okay <laughs> didn't want to apply but this is head first slide into cooper's on a bit my first music makeup for fully adore by fall boy this album uh caitlin is actually planning the looks for and this look i talk about it a little bit later but um it's actually different than what we originally planned what she originally wanted because the original look just wasn't it which unfortunately happens sometimes with these types of videos as you guys have learned from watching my channel um so this is just like a play on the original colors that we were going to use but not the exact same ones just because the look just didn't pan out but I really like the way this looks. Like it's really pretty. I love the wing. I love the purple with the orange. It's something that I would not have done normally. Like I would have done like a coral um, with coral, but this I did coral with like a purple and it's really, really pretty. I talk about this too, but this is the palette I used. It's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. I'm giving this a shout out because I haven't used it that much on my channel and I feel like it deserves more love like this look stunning but make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers if you just give a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video or no let's get ahead and get into it this is the intro not the outro I'm losing it this eye is really red because I just did a look for this song and hated it so it's a little stained because I used a pressed pigment so it stained my eyelid um but yeah this song this album Caitlyn planned however I've done this look twice now and neither neither of the times <laughs> uh neither of the looks were um up to our standards and so I've decided I'm just going to do it a third time um, and kind of just let, you know, brushes do their own little thing and bless you and see where we're at at the end. So I do have cats in here today. I have Jack, Noki, and Ravioli. You haven't seen Ravioli yet, but here he is. He's my beautiful baby. He's my beautiful baby. Yes, he's my beautiful baby. And yeah, so if you hear them, that's what's going on. So we're going to start. I do have a bunch of looks or products laid out here from where I was going to do the original look. I'm still going to do uh, use. <laughs> I'm still going to use those products because I have them laid out. I'm ready to go. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna start i'm gonna do this eye and then maybe i'll do this one off camera so i have the elf putty eye primer here in the shade cream i do really like this i've been using it for a while um you do kind of have to warm it up just a little bit i wouldn't recommend just like going in a little bit i recommend going kind of around and around just to warm it up a little bit the putty blush isn't like that it's a little bit creamier um i think that's where the mixed reviews on this particular product come from is because this isn't quite as creamy as that but i do really like this i've used it quite a bit you can't really tell um i haven't filmed in over a month um you know i went back to work after my injury uh i got a promotion so things have been a little crazy over here but I've still done makeup and stuff. So the palette that we chose was the, why did I put that away? <laughs> I haven't done the other eye. I don't know what I'm booing. I don't know what I'm booing. Maybe I'll just do it as we go. Maybe I'll just start it, you know? I don't know, we'll just do it. 
Yeah, I haven't filmed in over a month. It's been a hot minute. I actually just uploaded a video that was filmed in July. It's September um, now. So, been a minute since I've edited as well. Um, I'm actually working on editing a video right now that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. And it will be up before this one. It is the makeup collection declutter video. I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. Um, you know, but anyway, the palette that we chose for the original look was the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette Volume 2. Do you guys see that Morphe is releasing a Sour Patch Kid collection? I need it. I need it. I don't need the whole collection, but I want the palette and the setting spray, I think. But this is what the palette looks like right here. I've only used this palette a handful of times, which is crazy to think because my original Jaclyn Hill palette is one of my most used palettes that I own. Um, but this one, even though I love the colors, I just really haven't used it all that much. And no particular reason. I like the formula. I like the colors. I think it's just I bought this when I was buying so many other palettes that this just kind of fell off my radar, I guess. I don't know. It's it's a really pretty palette, so I don't know what I was thinking. But I, again, I don't know what look I'm doing. Um, I kind of want to play in, because the original two looks have been pink and then red. So I think maybe I want to stick to that type of color family. I think I might play with these oranges, corals right through here maybe. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to take Perfectionist, which is this shade right here and use that as my transition shade i yeah i don't really know why i just haven't used this palette all that much like there's nothing wrong with it the shades are pretty i every time i do use it i like it it's just not one of my most used palettes it's not one of my least used either unfortunately even though i've only used this a handful of times um you know, it's just something that I don't really reach for all that much, which is such a shame because I was so excited about this launch and I was so excited to get my hands on it. And literally, I was just like, I was counting down the days for it to arrive. Like, I was like, yes, and I got it. And, you know, like, it's one of those things that you think you would use a ton. And then after you buy it, you don't ever use it. Like, it's kind of like one of those. And, you know, I did um, a review over the first Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is one of the first reviews I ever did on my channel and you know I really liked it and that palette made like beauty history like literally it was everything and everywhere for ages and now I feel like everybody's kind of over uh, their Morphe spell. I feel like for a while Morphe had everybody wrapped around their finger. Like everyone was buying Morphe. It was Morphe, 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 Morphe. And now I think people are just kind of over Morphe as a brand. And I get that from some Instagram comments on some posts that I've seen. People are just kind of over Morphe in general. And you know, I don't feel that way. I mean, I've never ridden particularly one to get super super excited about their launches like some other people have in the past but i've never had anything against the brand and there are some launches that i really have looked forward to like the jacqueline hill vault collection i was really excited about that i was really excited about the volume 2 palette um i, I bought the madison beer palette there are just some that i was really interested in but i wasn't somebody who was obsessed with morphe either I feel like ColourPop was the same way. I feel like for a while, everyone was buying everything ColourPop. Like, ColourPop was everywhere. And ColourPop still is everywhere because they have so many releases. But I feel like now people are kind of over the release every three days type of thing um, that ColourPop likes to do. I personally don't mind it, but I know some people are completely over it and like, ew. But... I don't know it works for them so why not you know so i'm going to take i don't know why i put that brush away that was a terrible idea let's get you back out i'm gonna take feeling myself which is this this one right here it's kind of hard to show you guys but i don't think i've used this shade which is funny because i really like this shade i'm gonna put that in my crease 
It's very bright. It's a very bright shade. I like that. Um, yeah, I feel like right now indie brands are kind of stealing the show. I feel like for a while people only wanted to buy things from really big brands, but now I feel like indie brands are the thing. Like they're the moment. And I think that that's great, you know, um, having different brands and stuff. I feel like years ago, like 2015 maybe, 2016 even, Urban Decay was everything. You know, everybody had to have Urban Decay. And it was, you know, the naked palettes, it was the foundation, it was the um, primer potion, which I've never actually tried. It was just like everything Urban Decay. And then I feel like people just stopped buying their stuff, you know? Also, this is my life, okay? This is my life with ravioli. Yeah, that's, he does that every time I'm, every time I'm doing anything, I'm typing on the computer, he climbs on my shoulder and then he just jumps down. You know, it's just something that he does. I don't, I'm not entirely sure why. He's getting so big, you guys, like so big. When I got him, he was, so small and he's so big now oh my god he's growing up he's growing up look look at him he's so cute yes he is bean's best friend also my camera is dying surprise surprise so <sighs> we're gonna go until it dies okay take the shade called a moment, which is why I said that and put that on my lid. It's like a pinky purple. It reminds me a lot of um, the purple in the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette. I did a review over that ages ago as well. And I have since decluttered it just because I wasn't really using it. Um, but It reminds me a lot of that shade. These are the biggest pieces of tape I think I've ever gotten in my life. I'm gonna put on Temptress, which is the black, and really have to buff that out. So I took a little bit of Oh Hello, which is this one right here, and I used that to blend out Temptress in this outer corner here. Just a little bit like right through here and up into the crease. And I quite like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm gonna take the Tarte Sex Kitten Liner and attempt to make a wing. <laughs> take this. This is the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream and I'm going to put that on me face. That's way too much. <laughs> but yeah, Mel, I'm really excited about the Sour Patch Collection and the Makeup Revolution um, Corpse Bride Collection. I'm really excited about that as well. Also, right here, this line, if you guys can see that, it's actually not for my hair dye. Um, it's from my glasses. My glasses, like the tarnish on them, I guess, is gone. And the silver in the glasses, I think it's silver anyway, is turning my face green um, when I wear them. So that's nice. But when I have my glasses on, you can't obviously tell because my glasses sit over top, but you can see online. Um, and I just got my glasses um, a few months ago, I think in May or something like that. So I'm not going to get another new set, but I did just get them. So I'm very frustrated with that. But primer, I pulled out this. This is the Winky Luxe Whipped Cream Primer. 
I, I've only used this a few times. Uh, it's like a pore filling silicone primer smoothing at the same time, I guess. It's kind of like all of those. Um, I don't really use it all that much because I don't really need stuff like this. Um, but I do have a lot of texture and these types of primers are really good at smoothing out texture. This does feel though like a thicker whipped cream, like um, literally like a thick, thick whipped cream. Like that's exactly what this feels like. I think that's a perfect name, <laughs> literally. Like it feels just like a really thick whipped cream. Um, again, I don't use this product too much. Um, I did keep it through the declutter um, I've kept it. I've done a little bit of declutters since then. I've filmed that one, but I've done a few since I've had this. And I've kept it every single time because I don't really have a whole lot of primers like this. And, you know, I just need to use it a bit more. Then I have this. I have a lot of Winky Luxe stuff pulled out here, don't I? Then I have this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy one in the shade Porcelain. Um, I haven't used this too much and from what I remember, I wasn't obsessed with it. Um, so I'm going to give it another chance here today. Um, yeah, but from what I remember, I wasn't in love with this. Uh, I have so many other foundations that I just love and this just isn't one of them like I know what foundations I love even with having so many like if I reach for it constantly I obviously really enjoy it and this is one I just don't reach for all that much um you know it's just it is what it is and you know I wish that I liked it. You know, I don't hate it. I did declutter the original and then I went out and bought it again. Um, but yeah, I don't hate this foundation by any means. Like, it looks nice, but it's not like my NARS one or anything like that. But the NARS one is like $50. At the same time, $50 versus I think this is like five or six. Like, yeah, but it's nice, but again, it's not one that I reach for all that much. Maybe that was the goal with the product I pulled. I don't remember. I pulled them so long ago. Um, maybe that was the plan. But, you know. It's uh, real nice. And lately I've been applying foundation first with a brush just kind of blending it out and getting it where I want it and then I'll go in with the sponge to get rid of all the streaks and to pick up all the extra and things I don't know why I started doing that I think I saw somebody do it in a video and I was like oh I want to try that or something I don't remember um, I'm pretty sure I did it in a video for the first time though and I think I said it there but I have like a memory of a goldfish so I don't I don't recall um, but the foundation does look pretty and I'm just gonna stick it back in my drawer and then I take my stained as hell makeup wipe and I wipe off all the extra foundation off my brush um, just to keep it clean cleaner longer I guess and so the bristles don't get hard because sometimes foundation will like harden on brushes and then it's like impossible to get them clean even with um, cleaner and stuff and then the concealer that I have here is the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish in the shade fair warm I do have the original 16 hour camo concealer and I really enjoy this but this is the hydrating version um, and I love that but the shades are the same like they labeled the same but they are two completely different colors do you see that um, so that's something to note that I actually didn't know until after I purchased it. Um, but, you know, here we are. For powder, I have the Cody Airspun powder out here. This is in the shade Translucent. Um, this used to be really popular. And 
truthfully, I cannot remember the last time I used this, to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna take the Winky Luxe Diamond Powder in the shade Light. This is technically a powder foundation. Um, I don't use it as a powder foundation. I don't think I've ever used it as a powder foundation. But I'm gonna set my face just a little bit. This is matte, my foundation was dewy. Um, and I don't wanna set a whole lot, but nine times out of 10, I set my foundation anyway, just to make it last. And I don't like sticky, tacky feeling foundations. So I set them to avoid the tackiness. This eyeshadow is so pretty in person. I feel like in, on camera, it almost looks weird. But again, I'm not wearing my glasses, so the camera to me, like the lens is really, really blurry. So everything looks kind of funky. But in person, <laughs> it looks really beautiful. I'm a big fan of this. Alrighty. I do like this powder as well. I don't use it, again, all that much um, because it is matte. I just don't typically reach for things like that. Now, to contour, I have the e.l.f. contour palette out here. I'm going to take this shade right here. Love, love, love this guy. Love the e.l.f. contour palette. It's so good. One of my favorite things to contour with, I think I've used two of these. Like I think this is the third one. Something I have definitely repurchased. For bronzer, I'm going to take the Winky Lux. Coffee bronzer in the shade Latte. I told you I had a lot of Winky Lux pulled out here. I don't know if I did that on purpose, but uh, here we are. And this bronzer, I do really, really like. It's very warm. And it smells like coffee. <laughs> so of course I love it. I also have bangs now, which you guys can't see here, but you saw them in the intro. Um, so I don't really need to bronze my forehead too much, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just to make sure that, you know, everything is seamless for blush. I have this color out here, which I'm really excited about. I've never used this color. This is the Burt's Bees Velvet Wine Powder Blush. Look at that. Oh, I'm really excited about this. I love the Burt's Bees blushes. Like, they are my favorite. Like... They're so beautiful. I have all five shades and I think there's five. Yeah, there's five. I have all five shades and I need, I need more in my life. Okay, like I need them all. I've never used this one, but I love them all. You know, they're so good. They're so good. Just trust me on this, okay? Like the Burt's Bees blushes are phenomenal. Like. They're seriously one of my favorite formulas, if not my favorite formula. Like, it used to be the Revlon ones, and I love the Revlon ones too, but these are just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about them. I just really, really like them. You know, like, I don't know. It's just kind of like what I feel. So this one is Velvet Wine, and then I do have I have all five of them, like I said. So I used Velvet Wine today. And then I have Bare Peach, which is like peachy, obviously. My favorite one is Toasted Cinnamon, which is this gorgeous color right here. And then I have Shy Pink. And then another new one is Fresh Apricot, which I don't believe I've used this one yet either. Um, but yeah, I need more. I need, I need more of these birds bees. I need more of these. Okay, I need more. I need more. For highlighter, I'm gonna use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in Exposed Highlights. This was my first high-end highlighter, and it is beautiful. Do you see that? I, again, don't use this very often. Maybe I'll use a highlight, like a fan brush today. That's not a fan brush. This is. Maybe I'll use a fan brush today. I've never used this one from Wet n Wild, I don't think. It's really stiff though, so maybe this is a bad idea, but we'll give it a shot. Do 
you guys remember when fan brushes used to be like the only way to highlight? Mm. I don't know if I like this brush. It's very hard to blend. Yeah, I think I'm gonna declutter that brush. I don't really care for it. Um, I use this brush to highlight now. And I love it. It's from BH. I don't even know what collection this is from. I think it's from like a carnival collection like two or three years ago. I've had this brush for a while, but it is my favorite highlighting brush. I use it every single time I highlight. It's just everything. It's the number four if they make it individually. I'm not entirely sure. But that's what number it is <laughs> if you're curious. Okay, now for brows, I'm gonna take the Essence Make Me Brow uh, Eyebrow Gel in the shade Ashy Brows. I actually don't have a compact out here with the highlighter, so maybe I'll get that tart highlighter back out and use the mirror in it. I'm going to apply the ColourPop Falsies Lashes in the style Chica. I've used these before. They are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I thoroughly enjoy these. And I'm also going to, oh no, my lash got stuck. Apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara today that eye was much better but the the right one oh i thought i was gonna lose my mind all right so i'm gonna take a little bit more of oh hello my lower lashes i need my pop mirror out here where are you at there you are I still just can't believe how difficult that lash was. Like it literally took me ages. I'm sure I either sped it up or cropped it out just for the sake of time in my video, but oh my God. I literally think I sat here for ages like trying to apply that one lash. It was just not wanting to be a team player. Also, can I tell you guys a little secret? Uh, I have the Wet n Wild SpongeBob box still from the PR box, like I have the box because I loved it and I couldn't get rid of it. So, I still have it. I still have it. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Temptress, like a really small amount of this and just, you guys, I'm getting a new phone soon. I'll probably already have it by the time this video goes up, but I'm getting a new phone soon. Really happy about that. My phone is not working lately. It just stopped working. You know, good old iPhone. Yeah, it just stopped working, and it's gotten to the point now where, like, like when I call people, they won't let me call them, or um like the touch screen won't work for like five to ten minutes and then i have to lock my phone leave it alone and then come back to it and like i haven't dropped it i've it hasn't gotten like wet like i don't know it just it literally just randomly started doing it after they launched the iphone and yeah so it's been a little bit of a a nuisance but I'm just taking those brushes that I used earlier with no additional product. Just helping blend those shades out. Just kind of knocking off the extra product. It's really coming down outside, y'all. And then I'm going to take the Better Than Sex Mascara. For eyeliner, I have this pulled out. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Dirty Talk. It's a gold. I don't know exactly what look I was trying to go for here, but love these liners from ColourPop. I'm obsessed with them. For my brow, I'm gonna take Certified, which is this one. Did I say brown? My brow. I don't know if I said brow or brown, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. I make a fool of myself all the time, like IRL. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm gonna take I'm in it 
which has like a duochrome to it. It's like a pink duochrome. So I think I'm gonna layer something else on top, but put that on the bottom. And then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the exposed highlight from Tarte, the one that we used on our face, and just put it right like in the center, just to really make the inner corner pop. Okay, now it's lips. My foot is so itchy. Okay, so for lips, I'm going, actually I'm gonna do this first. This is the uh, Dry Cosmetics Slay All Day uh, Peach Spray. Delish. And, oh, I got it all over my mirror. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. All right, the lip I'm gonna use is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Video Vixen. Wish me luck. I don't have a lip liner. This is head first slide into Cooperstown on the bad vet. I really like the way this look turned out. It's not at all what we originally wanted or what Caitlin originally wanted, but you know, I think just letting my creative juices flow, this hair, this one little hair right here is driving me nuts. Um, I feel like just letting my creative juices flow is a really good idea, especially with this look. It's really, really pretty. And I'm debuting my bangs in like a proper video. We think I had plum hair before I dyed it green and it looked really pretty, but I didn't actually film a look with it. So you won't see the plum. Um, again, this one little hair, let's put you back. Hopefully where you came from. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. We just my goal of 1000 subscribers. Give this big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.